see my uh, parents uh, really valued early education, and uh, I feel grateful for that. And, and when I step back and, and think about uh, what they did for, for me and my sister in terms of how they oriented us towards education, I, I would isolate uh, three basic ideas that they worked really hard to uh, imbue in us and uh, that I believe in and that I'm, my wife and I are in turn passing on. Uh, the, the first is that learning is fun. Uh, and and uh, that's just, it, just a fun thing. Uh, and the second, which is related, is that asking questions is great. Uh, and if anybody who knows me, uh, you may not feel that way, uh, but you certainly know that I do. Um, uh, and then the third uh, is that anything is possible, especially if you try hard enough. And those three principles, uh, to me, are among the greatest gifts that any parent can give his or her child. Uh, and uh, I will certainly look back at my life and my uh, professional career, and, and, and I think that, that those three elements uh, have been associated with everything that I've done that, that's been successful. I remember in 1993, uh, 18 years ago, uh, when I first saw the uh, Mosaic web browser, uh, it was right before the internet started to become uh, commercially mainstream, it was still just kind of a research thing, uh, and it did text and it did pictures. And I remember asking the question, why doesn't this do audio or video? Um, and then from that, well, how would we do it? And then coming up with what became Real Audio. Uh, and if you reflect on my mom's last comment, I guess you could just say I was thinking about the same problem for 30 years and <laughs> finally came up with a, a new, new context in which to uh, explore it. Uh, but it is actually my view, there is a direct linkage between uh, those values and, and what I've been able to uh, accomplish in my, in my life. Uh, and I'm grateful for that. Uh, when I look forward and, and, and look at my own experience, uh, as Holly mentioned, my wife and I are, are parents of, of three early learners ourselves. We have four and a half year old twins uh, and a 10 month old. Uh, the twins were born in 2006 uh, and the 10 month old just last year. Uh, we've tried in our own way to share those three principles with our kids and to imbue them with those same values and those same ideas. Uh, and I think we've uh, off to a decent start at least, hopefully a good start. Uh, I was reflecting on today's talk and. Uh, thinking about the time about a month ago where I was driving our car, my wife and I were driving a car with our daughter, and she was in the night, and she piped in from the back seat, uh, where do the stars go during the day? Which is a perfectly good question. And so I explained to her, uh, well, the star, you can't see the stars when the sun's out uh, because it's too bright, but they're still there. And then she said, but, then, but why can you see the moon? And I said, well, you can see the moon because the moon's really close, and it's close enough that you can still see it even when the sun's out. Well, why can't you see it all the time? And I said, well, because the moon rotates around the earth. <laughs> and then she said, swear to God, she said, and the earth rotates around the sun, right? And I was like, well, where did that come from? <laughs> you know, had she been reading Galileo or something? I, <laughs> so... So I, I feel like we, she's off to a great start on the believing that learning is fun and that asking questions is great. And uh, you, know, uh, you know, sometimes it's not always as easy to answer the questions, but it's still so worth a try. Uh, about a year ago, uh, we were on vacation with, uh, with our kids, and my son asked me uh, you know, something like, uh, we, were, I was, we were talking about being little. And I said, you know, I was little like you once. And he said, do you have a picture? Uh, and I said, well, uh, I, said, I said, yeah, I've got pictures. And he said, do you have one on your camera? Uh, <laughs> perfect logical question. And I said, no, no, back then we didn't have camera phones. Uh, but I, when we get home, I can show you a picture uh, of, uh, of me when I was little. And he got excited. He said, you can show me a picture of you when you're little? And I said, yes. And he said, and then can you show me a picture of me when I'm big? <laughs> and, and of course, the answer to that you know, goes back to anything is possible, especially if you try hard enough, because of course, if you know those photo aging software that's out there that's, that people use for missing kids, the answer is yes, I could actually, but the literal answer would have been no. So, so to me, that was a very heartening example of how it's very important to maintain the belief uh, that anything is possible if you try hard enough, because even if it isn't literally true, I wouldn't literally be showing him a picture of him when he was old. I could show him something that would be a simulation of it that would have value in certain situations. Uh, so those three principles, uh, learning is fun, asking questions is great, and anything is possible, especially if you try hard enough. Uh, I find those principles to be great guiding principles, not just for uh, early childhood development, but also uh, for living life. 